medically obese might be taken seriously if the standards for it weren't such a joke. Went to the doctor today with a little sweatpants and sweatshirt action. Can't really tell what I look like, okay? Doctor, what's his nuts? At your height, you're five pounds away from being obese and advised that I increase my activity levels and modify my diet. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, Dr. What's Nuts needs to eat some humble pie with that one, so let's talk about why BMI doesn't work in all cases. Now, BMI is calculated from height and weight, so if we take a look at these two body types, both would be classed as obese, even though there's clearly only one of them which would be deemed as unhealthy. Looking at this from a more structured lens, it's because BMI doesn't take into consideration body fat percentage and lean muscle mass. So why would we even still use BMI? Well, because it's still a useful guide that correlates with disease risk, as most people do not have an athletic body or a high amount of lean mass. In fact, compared with those of a healthy weight, people with a BMI between 30 and 40 had an 85% increased risk of developing cardiovascular disease, that means blockages around the heart, heart failure or heart attacks, and a twice increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes. In the UK, around 28% of adults have a BMI over 30, and in the US, it's around 40%. So how can we tackle this rising problem? 